morning, early morning for us, left Bristol at 6 o'clock on our way to see uh, Stuart Bingham, the reigning world champion, see what he does in his spare time, see what he's doing when he's not playing snooker. It's going to be a very interesting day, we're going to spend a couple of hours with him. Hope you enjoy it, we'll speak to you later. So a three and a half hour drive and we are finally here at the home of Stuart Beam. So let's knock on the door, have a chat and see how he is. First time I've seen him since he won the Worlds. Hello May, how you, how you doing? All yeah, right. not too bad, how you doing? Congratulations on the World. I haven't seen you since, have you. I? No, no. Come in. Cheers. You've calmed down since or are you still on a bit of a buzz? Still buzzing, still buzzing. It's, um, it's too soon really, isn't it? Have you actually played yeah. tournaments since you won? Uh, a couple. couple. Oh, yeah. Hang on a sec. Just wanna, just wanna watch this. Play a good shot. Thirty-nine. Needs all this cute power here. I remember that shot. Sure. So here we are at home with Stuart and um, the lounge. Obviously, I was going to say what you're doing here with the curtains drawn, but I won't. Um, one thing I do notice: the trophies, fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Your shrine. This is my shrine. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been uh, the last sort of four years of collecting them, and uh, yeah, from obviously the Australian Golf Rules Open Trophy to the Shanghai Masters, Premier League, and obviously now the World Championship this Trophy. Is the, this is the genuine trophy? Uh, not sure, not right. sure. Well, you were saying to me they, they keep it for a couple of months, don't they? Yeah, well, they said a month, um, so. Uh, I'm a, I ain't had the phone call yet, uh, it's maybe probably the reason I've blocked their number, so. <laughs> so into the kitchen then, Stu, are you, uh, you much of a chef? Not much. Cook the odd steak, cook it nicely, medium rare. Fair play, now you know we got to have a little look in the fridge. Oh, actually, that's a nice selection. We've got healthy at the top, and of course we've got some booze down the bottom, a bit of champagne, a bit of Grey Goose vodka. That is a well-stocked fridge. Gadgets, you must have one gadget that is your favourite toy in the kitchen, surely? Uh, my pride and joy is my coffee machine. Look at that, oh, beauty. Well. Oh, what's your, um, your special coffee? Uh, latte macchiato. It's not, it's not wood though, is it? It's nice plastic, low maintenance. All I can say is amazing. What made you do it? Um, me being a lazy so-and-so. Uh, I used to go to tournaments and uh, I used to cut the grass before I'd go and when I come back you need cutting again so uh, I invested in some of this perfectly long grass. I'm blown away by it. And what sort of procedure throughout the day do you have to do to maintain it to this standard? Um, hoover it. You don't hoover it. We hoover it, brush it and any sort of weeds that come through, we just got to pull so out. So it does grow? Did no, 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 the weeds that come through. The weeds come through, and that's it? That's it, that's all done. Now, I'm seriously thinking of buying some of this, but what I'm worried about is I haven't got your eye for detail, like a world champion's attention to detail. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is what cheeses oh me off. Oh my God. This is what cheeses me off. You've got to keep it on top, and you've got to pull it out. That's why you're champion, mate. People are texting and asking me, what is the regulation here? What sort of, what are we looking for, Stuart? Um, an inch is absolutely perfect. So you measure it up, we, we go like that. We've got an inch. Yeah. That's not an inch, it's a bit bigger than that, but okay, yeah. And That's a nice it. little trim there. That's it. And to do all of your bush, um, how long are we looking at? Um, it can take sort of two days. Two days? So I'm literally non stop. It's just absolutely. I had the president of the Asher Turf Association. He knew I was coming today. He wanted to say hello to you, and um, he wants me to tweet a picture of, of you sit on this. This is that okay? Can I do that later? Fine. One question everyone's asking me to ask you is: um, what happens if a bird? Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked that one. Okay, I'm um, moving on to the next one. We must spend a lot of time out here in the summer. Yeah, it's nice to chill out and so you just get some rays. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, the hot tub. Yeah, do you want to get in? Absolutely. Hey, this is all right, mate, isn't it? I mean, I've done some interviews in my time, but this is strange. I've never shared a hot tub with a world champion. First of all, congratulations. Jeez. A fantastic uh, achievement, wasn't it? 
brilliant, um, unbelievable uh, feeling. So it's been nine weeks or so, and uh, still, I don't think it's sunk in yet. The people that I spoke to, I said this to you already, not one person had any ill feeling towards you, as any negative, they were all so pleased for you. And that, that doesn't usually happen. Why do you think that has happened? Um, I think people obviously realise that it take 20 years I've been a pro, I've been up and down the country qualifying, playing in pros in Europe and stuff like that and, and people know I suppose how much I love the game. Um, it's just, it's, it's my world, so I, I do everything around snooker really. My sort of obviously wife and family suffers a bit really, but um, that's how I've always been and make my own way with it. And they respect you for that? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I mean, you were one of those players when the new system came along and you know, bless Barry Hearn, he's changed the game completely, didn't he? But you were one of those players that embraced the format, didn't you? You went, I'm going to enter everything. Yeah. Some back to where you went, no, no, hang on. You know, whilst there's a tournament, I'm going to play in it. And it's paid dividends, isn't it? Yeah, it's say like, all the, like the Asian Tour events, I've won four or five of them. Um, and they all, say, they all add up to a main ranking event. People I don't think realise. Thanks for the hot tub, Stu. Uh, where are you taking me now? Um, where all the magic happens. Where's that? In the bedroom. Oh my word. I meant to ask you, have you, uh, have you always been in Vange? Uh, always, all my life. Love it. Spend a, spend a lot of time on there? Um, sleeping, yeah. Now I'm married. Just sleeping? Yeah. Now I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> door there, door in, door in. Toilet, airing cupboard, toilet, sink and bath. A proper shower. What, you put these glass tiles in as well? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Fair play to you, our kid. That's good, I love it. If I am, can I just quickly get changed? No, no, you can't. I've got to, I've got to go back to the grass. Yeah, I've got to cut the grass. Oh, right. Cheers to that. Oh, yeah, right. Thanks, mate. Cheers, bye.